Hi all, this is Charbak Lokayata and I welcome you all in today's new video. Yesterday I posted a video debunking the ancient aliens and the conspiracy theories of Praveen Mohan and I also talked about how self-contradictory it is and what the reality is and where the author Von Daniken copied all these ideas from. So I hope you watch that video and do enjoy it. But likewise, today's new video, I will be debunking about the ancient warfare technology that we had, rockets, and it's depicted in temple and etc, etc. I will be debunking this idea today. So make sure to like, share and, and comment on this video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. And uh, wherever you see such Facebook posts where it depicts rockets in the temple, warfare, ancient technology of rockets and other things or missiles, do share this video of mine there and let the WhatsApp Pankal and aunties know that it is nothing but pseudoscience and jingoism, nothing else. So with this today, let's get started with the video and let me show you this post. So you have another Facebook post and you guessed it right. Rocket warfare depicted in 12th century Hoysaleshwara Temple, Karnataka, Bharat. So, you know, this is again another Facebook post where people get, author gets the millions of views, gets likes, gets lots of comments, appreciation and whatnot. What's up uncle and aunties do enjoy these posts regularly. However, there is one question here. Are these really rockets? Uh, which rocket is launched from a chariot driven by horses which you can see and who is that person in front of the man who is blowing the trumpet there I mean you can literally see opposite of the man who is holding the bow uh, he is likely uh, using a trumpet so which type of person would actually stand in front and blow the trumpet when somebody is releasing rocket and horses so again this actually tells the ignorance of the author about missiles technology so in military technology missile is a guided airborne ranged weapon usually uh, propelled by jet engine or rocket motor okay and there are so many missiles where there are uh, surface to surface, air to surface, ballistic missiles, surface to air missiles, anti-ballistic, air to air missiles and even anti-satellite weapons. So this is the modern day military technology missiles. And one of the questions would ask is if we had rocket and missile technology, why would we be attacked by the Arab invaders and Turkic invaders? and what not invaders we should have been able to destroy them right but happened something opposite anyhow this is our rocket goes and by the way nowhere in that depiction of that so called rockets in that statue they didn't show ignition ignition is vital thing and ignition exit without which you cannot even propel the rocket so that was not shown in that unlike the modern day technology and let's look at the science how does it work so you have a solid f fuel oxidizer mixer so usually the oxidizer mixture consists of ammonium nitrate ammonium dinitrate potassium nitrate there are also liquid proper you know oxidizing fuel you have igni igniter and the cylindrical hole actually plays the role of pressure cooker I mean it's like a pressure thrust to propel the rocket okay uh, where the combustion happens and you have the hot exhaust the end of uh, the thrust which among things dictates the amount of thrust produced so the size of the ending exit to uh, the fourth point which you see actually determines the kind of force that is going to be applied to propel that rocket and fifth one, it's the exhaust for the rocket. You didn't see that exhaust when the man was firing a rocket from bow and arrow. I mean, which type of rocket will go by bow and arrow? It doesn't go by bow and this thing. 
okay and who is the person who is oppositely standing and blowing the trumpet there and that too it's been launched from a chariot driven by horses so that actually debunks this idea now why it is the motive of sharing those posts so the real motive probably is to make you forget this man called apj abdul kalam who was scientist and administrator at drdo and isro who is uh, intimately involved in civil space program and military missile development he's been known as the missile man of india he also did the pokhran 2 tests in 1998 and the first since the original nuclear test by india in 1974 and yeah ballistic missiles and launch vehicle technology so he really was a pioneer in this area you can say in india so to make you forget this man you have to show him something before him so you put pick up some picture of a temple and put a post saying that oh this is the rocket technology we had before him and so people forget this man's contribution called ap jabdul kalam in the areas of military technology significantly and we all know he was the elected president after k r narayanan and after him pratibha patel succeeded you had prime minister of atal bihari vajpayee and manmohan singh and i guess that actually some sub the thing which i have to tell about tp jabdul kalam i will be sharing the wikipedia links and i encourage that you look at the reference boxes as well look at the references to make sure it's all authentic so with this i will be ending the video and i hope that people will give two three times a thought before sharing those facebook and whatsapp posts and believing that we had military technology and by the way if we really had that type of technology i don't think you would have the turkish invasion arab invasion afghan invasion persian invasion and you would not be ruled by the european colonialists to the great extent so with this i hope i have brought some logical thinking into people's mind and i hope you people share this video like this video comment on this video let me know how do you like the content i will be sharing the references in the description and i hope i explained the very basic uh, technology or the basic mechanism behind a missile so missile is not something to be handled with hands you would rather burn your yourself to ashes thanks to the ignition and exhaust okay so i hope people got some clarity and with this i take leave of you all have a nice happy weekend bye bye